Holy shit! Hi guys, welcome back to another season of Lucifer. Here we go. Final season, season six, episode one. Nothing around here ever changes. I am super excited for two reasons. Well, it's Lucifer first and second, we've got all the episodes and there are 10 episodes. So it's going to be a very long journey in regards to how long these episodes are. I think they're almost like 55 minutes each. So I'm very excited to continue this journey now that we know that Lucifer has given a second chance to Michael and now that he's taken on the reins of being God using the flaming sword. So I do not know how we're going to pick it up. But from the trailer, we saw that we've got like a lot of things to sort of look, look at. And we are in the midst of so many different theories. So I do not have any specific sort of mindset as to where Lucifer is going to go. And if I do, it's just going to make it more like predictable. So I'm just going to go in blind. I'm going to go and see how it works. And I hope we have a great finale at the end of our episode 10. And I'm very excited to finish this journey. I mean, it has been the first ever reaction series that I did. And I am so glad that I did Lucifer because it's been phenomenal and have been enjoying every single moment of it. And now that we are at the end, I hope you guys are equally excited as I am. And of course, it is bittersweet, but I think all good things must come to an end. And accepting that earlier on is going to be much more easier when we get to the end. Because if <laughs> if I think about it right now, I'm just going to be completely in crying mode. But nevertheless, even if we are not going to cry today, got it ready. So let's see what this episode is all about. I hope you guys are excited as much as I am. And yeah, let's not wait any further. Let's get right to the first episode. And now that he's got wearing a white suit. Officer. You know why I pulled you over? Yes, I wasn't paying enough attention to the road, and I apologize. I've got a lot on my mind. This is my last night in LA. You're the officer who likes to drive fast with a siren on. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid you wouldn't recognize me. Ah. Oh, man, I am so glad I am running into you again. You got any more of that money like last time? <laughs> oh. The devil had to give the money, but as a god, he didn't provide the money, he had to be asked to give the money. Oh. Believe it or not, this is the world's only private club for magicians. Oh, apart from the one that I started with Rasputin. The Romanos were furious. Yeah, diver, do you know diver? Mm -hmm. So, like, everywhere you look, there's a puzzle to solve? No. Oh. I'm not going to solve anything. When you know how the tricks work, it ruins everything. Thank you, Bones. <laughs> Thank you, Bones. <laughs> Well, I mean, yes, we're having fun, and, and it's been great. But you've already pushed the coronation once, and I mean, don't we have to get up there? I will literally conquer death and emerge resurrected. <laughs> Why is he enjoying this? He's literally gone. <laughs> Hell is going on. Magna! It's done it again. Erica, how can you miss your cue? But if he's alive there, then who's that? Horrible for the dead guy, but not horrible for me. We Her. know this. That's not horrible. It's nice to see you too, Miss Lopez. <laughs> it must be so weird being on the other side of things for once, huh? Mm. Takes a little getting used to. You probably have to hang here because we were witnesses to the murder, right, Carol? Yeah, unfortunately, she's correct. I'm going to have to get your statement before you can be released. <laughs> That's fantastic news. You really went all out, Linda. Yeah, well, it's not every day that my best friend and her girlfriend depart this mortal plane to rule hell. Mm. I'm going to support my girl in all her work. Okay, well, it's time for appetizers. I made deviled eggs. Ooh. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
guys are absolutely adorbs. Adorbs. I really do miss you. It feels like nobody's listening. Like the big guy is just not there or something. Not saying that my work saves lives, but. So you know Magnar? Mm. Huh. I was his apprentice before Jared. Yeah. Hold up. I just confirmed. Jared was killed sometime in the last two hours. And no one's left since then. So you should keep holding everybody. Which means the killer is still in the building. I was bribing a motorcycle cop. <laughs> you were bribing a police officer. Indeed. Not for the first time. If you ask him, I'm sure he'll corroborate. He's a bit of an oversharer. And you also claim that you're the devil? Was the devil. Though I used a demon blade. This was a sword, so not really relevant, I suppose. It's all very complicated. Let's not dwell. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Your alibi checked out. Yeah, motorcycle cop called and confirmed your story. Uh, so they're having an affair that she didn't disclose to me. Ah, I told you I did, she looked a bit suspicious. Love it. Oh, you're missing that, aren't you? Who are you going to bring fun to? The tortured damn souls? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I just wanted to see how... You'd react? You know, everything was going to work out first and... And honestly, I thought that you would do nothing but make fun of me. Oh, I will. This is the greatest gift you have ever given me. Yeah, so we can finally get on with our date. No, something is snapping up. I can feel it in my gut. Well, maybe your gut hasn't been receiving his emails. The rest of you is retired. This is Carl's job now. Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? I'm starting a new day job in heaven and the commute daily alone. Understood. Right. And all I'm trying to say is that I just think that there might be some deeper reasons behind these excuses and that maybe we should talk about them being ever present is god's whole thing that's what makes the big guy the big guy spending time with loved ones that's the best part he's not like you and me we are all god's loved ones wonderful can you please oh. <laughs> you much tell me duran 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 what is it you truly desire i want to be magnar you know what? You should have thought of that before you killed Jared. Turn around. You're under arrest. Turn around. Miss Decker. Can I talk to you for a second? I don't want to talk about hell. Wow. Maze. Linda. Linda deal. Linda. Stop. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to go. I love what we do after even more. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love you. I, I love our life. I, I could do this forever. Forever? Yeah, I could marry you tomorrow. Okay. What? You're joking. Okay. <laughs> Resigned, but she wasn't angry. I agree. And she also has a bracelet. Miss Decker. Chloe. I am in a tough situation here. The lawyer. The law, did you say the sun practices? Uh, no, back up, buddy. you ever cared about was your own greed and desire you are the one who's selfish he doesn't care about the consequences and look at what you've done you are not worthy of your father's legacy is he talking about himself as well i will break everything holy shit what oh once the detective always the detective to be selfless and is to care about all of humanity. That is so true. I didn't. She, you died for me. I mean, what could be more selfless than that? I see that's just it. I love you, Chloe Decker. Aww. <laughs> You've come a long way. But everything you so... just said was so true. And an even better therapist. I mean, you saw from almost broken up to engaged over a single dinner. <laughs> but you see, I wonder if some of that was maybe for your own benefit as well. It was. No problem is too small. You are just as much of a hero as you are fighting a war for the throne of heaven. Every act matters. Oh. <laughs> God. Is it? Nothing's changed. 
I'm still in hell. It still sucks. Balio still sucks. Ping pong is not his game, dude. Daniel, I have commanded the demons to not torture you. You are the first soul ever in this purgatory. When was that guy able to make it to heaven? Literally no one else. Daniel, Daniel, we have been through this. If I act against your wishes, no matter how unconscious those are, then that is the end of free will, which I cannot do. <laughs> the chick okay that was an amazing start to the episode just getting back into the groove of lucifer and naturally knowing that chloe and uh lucy are not part of the lapd anymore and going through that full case trying to be the persons who are a witness to a murder but then at the same time not being the detectives that they well were for a good solid five seasons it's quite hard and I understand that so it's quite re <laughs> literally amazing to see that you know they helped each other out in so many different ways and there was so much self-realization here and there and you could see that once you know towards the end of the case they always like find this groundbreaking theory that can help them in their personal life so it's really like something that i completely love that a case sort of helps them understand what um they are going through and i truly enjoy that self-realization as i said so when we saw uh lucy trying to understand that you know he's not worthy of the, the guy the lawyer was not worthy of getting uh his father's legacy well self-implying it to himself and he's not worth he feels he's not worthy of being a god because once he, he is god once he goes through the coronation and whatnot and he ascends to um the silver city and sits on the throne he's not just a god or loves chloe he is a god to every single person and every single being on earth so he has to be selfless he has to have full like you know a heart made of the entire world like he has created like of course he's not literally created it but he is now a person who's taken over the person who has created this universe so it's things like that so he's like trying to understand it's not just one thing like oh yeah i'm god that's it it doesn't like end in that uh, relation it's more like now that you're god you are not not just well a person who has to overlook everything and see that everything is okay but your responsibility is one of the hardest things in well to be ever created so how are you going to take that mantle up how are you going to fill up his shoes how are you gonna if 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 you know as we saw in the previous season we saw how uh lucy's main fault or not fault but main criticism against his father was that he was never involved and he was never involved with his kids and he never even took a moment to be a dad for them and now you know that sort of affected not you could not say affected he's always been there whenever needed like for the people who he cares about the most you see that over time but now he's gonna have to do the same thing for people he doesn't know so it's it is a valid question and i completely love the fact that they drew that particular topic very early on because well naturally we're at the end of the season so we need to sort of touch that up but it's very nice that they got that out of the way and now that we know that it's not as easy as being god that you know you have to literally be god to every single person and then um we saw about well ella she had her her doubts that you know the big man is not up there and it's it's so good i really wish that we get to see her finding out that you know lucifer is um god and was the devil and i think after like i feel like you know them uh ella and uh chloe not chloe carol was his name um uh, when they see like a little bit of hints here and there that how is it possible that lucifer is able to do this or uh chloe is able to do this i think then they might just be like what the hell is going on and start digging things up and uh yeah but they have to find out that 
what's her name? Ella more than anyone because she's been there since um, season two, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, let's see what happens there. And this <laughs> amazing Eve thing was insane. So Eve is not, I mean, Maze doesn't want to be queen of hell, even though she loves hell, but she loves staying on earth feeling the fear and torture of actual humans before sending them to her because it's more fun. And she wants to do that with Eve because she's gotten adjusted to this. See, we remember, I remember when she really wanted to go back to um, hell and when Lucifer would go down to hell, she would be like, why didn't you take me with you and whatnot? And now she doesn't even want to leave. So that's pretty amazing transition of her character. And I really love that. And now that they are, well, engaged, I guess, I cannot wait to see if they're going to have a proper wedding. And then um, we saw, of course, darling Linda and Amenadil's confrontation with each other um, as to why she kept bringing up the topic of, you know, families. And I believe also at the same time, it's not just, you know, the amount of good deeds that she's done, which may not live up to Lucifer. It's more like she is also gotten so used to the idea of having this family and she doesn't want to let that go. And I completely agree. Like, you know, who would? Like, that's her family. She's all, they've already, all of them lost a dance. So, you know, knowing that this is, this is all happening too fast for her, it's just a bit much. And she just wants to think, like, she just, she wants everything to happen, I guess, in a way where you could say, we are progressing, but at the same time, I don't want anything to change. So I I get where she's coming from. And at the same time, she wants her, them to be happy. She wants them to like, you know, find true love and whatnot. But at the same time, she's a therapist who has to like help them out. And I feel like that comes with her nature of helping people. She, like, who will she have left after Lucy goes and after the Eve and Darling, um, maze go like who else is there to like therapize but at the same time you know she's it's been so long since she's not had a proper regular human therapy session and she's always had the celestial uh you know thoughts to bring to the table and i think she's forgotten what it means to be a regular therapist and knowing that things are moving too fast. I think she's sort of like stuck in that celestial mode. So I get it. I get, I understand that so much. But yeah, I like that, uh, that full uh, conversation between them two. And then this new chick in, uh, in hell. God, I, I'm guessing it must be one of uh, Lucifer's sisters or something. Um, so, well, very excited to see who she is and what she has to bring to the table because... Naturally, she doesn't have any um, inclination to help Lucy or to be Lucy's friend. So naturally, she wants to kill Lucifer. But yeah, let's see what she does. And then about the damn thing. So definitely, uh, what's her name? Oh, what's his name? Lucifer has gone down to meet Dan. And well, it's nuts. But I am, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really scared to see what happens because... Now that we know that her presence, the girl who's sitting on the throne, her presence sort of caused that thunder at the end, which uh, Dan said did not happen. So things are going to change. And I hope we find a way to bring Dan or let uh, Dan ascend to heaven because apparently he's dealt with all of his guilt. I feel like him saying that you're dealing with guilt does that mean that you've actually faced your guilt? Like, I don't know if that means anything because. If you did face your guilt, like how Lee was able to go through, you would have been able to go through. So I don't know. I'm not sure how it worked or I don't think he can like just ask Lee for any tips or anything. I think it's just more like self-realization um, on from your own part. So Dan can be the only one to, I think it more that Dan is like finding ways to overcome his guilt so that he can go. He's not actually dealt with it personally if that makes sense so yeah let's see what happens i am super excited to see the rest nine episodes we're done with episode one very very well start and yeah let's see and i loved the starting because we got to see the same police officer and i don't know if it's symbolism or not but him wearing a white suit sort of like represents him 
being God and in the first episode we saw him in a regular black suit but that was just the time when he was a devil now he's a god so I guess appearance change when you acquire new uh, new job titles and uh, at the same time uh, with the bribes bit <laughs> he did not offer the bribe this time he was like the cop asked him and then only offered because the last time Lucifer himself as the devil bribed him so yeah, there's so many things that I think have been like a little like change. I don't know if it really is symbolism. I'm guessing it is. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on this episode. I'm super excited to continue on. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family. I'll see you in the next one.